MLB The Show has Saturday night baseball for you now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other, and it's all coming up next. Play ball. Now at the plate, number 78. First hurt. trip to the plate for the him right in the ball game. Number 78. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Neff stands at first with one out. He's running. A pitch out. The throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Now here it comes. Line to the right side. Gomez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Joel Gomez. Right, and he could give the his right guys fielder. an early lead if Joel. he can come through here. Gomez. Working for the punch out and the offering. High in the air out towards shallow right. Three, three. Number 78 is there and he makes the catch for the out. And now a look at the hometown Tigers starting lineup in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? You know, I'm looking for a big performance out of that guy in the sixth spot. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Into the box, Jamie Champion, as he'll the get first his baseman. first opportunity in this one. Jamie. Champion. High and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. So the Tigers leave them loaded. We are still scoreless. Striding in. Chris Glass. The second baseman. Chris. What? The one two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Number 78 retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Tigers leave one. They trail in this one three nothing. Digging in for his second at bat. Number 78. 0 for one here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Owen won the count. Owen one count and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Pause and the 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. Not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. Neff aboard here at first with nobody out. Lined into right, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. There's high ball hitters and low ball hitters in the game. Obviously, this guy likes the ball down below the knees. Nice piece of hit. Stepping up now, Reggie now Fletcher. Back. He got on Let's top move. of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, yeah Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything right, on the ground, on, the way right this here. defense is, they could certainly roll too. On to first, the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape. Digging in and looking for more. Number 78, Number 78, one for two on his line so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Champion is right there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. They lead it four to nothing. Riding in once again, number 78. Number They'll swing it from the left side right here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely do you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The one one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. The one two. Hit well towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy that's a pretty good pitch. You see this change up down in the zone. Almost ankle high with two strikes. A pretty good pitch, but the result isn't very good. Yeah, the result, Dan's a ground ball with eyes through the middle of the field. And you know what it looks like in tomorrow's box score? A bullet line drive. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. This is skied into short left center. Worth moving in. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now with the plate, J.P. Crawford. So far, now two batted. for three in this one. J.P. Crawford. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So digging in now, Alex now Hayes. Two outs and two runners aboard Alex. here in the seventh inning. Hayes. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Up next for Minnesota, Andreas now, Tejada. Catcher. Andreas. Now the three and two pitch. All right, he's up. You're up. You're up. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. Digging in to try it again. Magnera Sierra. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. 
The one two runs up and gets this one down. And a barehanded pickup. Great stab, but they extend their lead as the runner comes around to score. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Digging in now, Vernon Aparicio. Up next for the Tigers. The shortstop, Verdez Aparicio. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Four, four. Hits this one hard the other way. Four, four. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. They'll get it in quickly to the shortstop to hold the man at third, but they're at the corners to start the inning. The next twin up, number 78. On the number night, he's 2 for 4 with a pair of singles. And now pitch on the way. Line drive to center field. Worth is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. And it remains an 8-1 to one ball game. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Eight to one is the final tonight. Minnesota took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. R.D. Sanderson gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.